What's going on YouTube? I have some extra coins. I wanted to do a quick little um, let's open a bunch of packs video. Nine. Not as crazy as some of these videos, but I'm not made of money, nor do I have the ability to keep coins and, and not open them. I want that eight cost enchantment. I want that one cost artifact. I want that four cost enchantment, and I want that seven cost five cost planeswalker. Let's see what I can get. Just do the one first data pack as an option. Ooh, spring to spring to mind. This is a good one. Uh, search your library for basic land, it enters tap, blah blah blah. Very standard. But then in the graveyard, late game, now you have a draw two cards method that's an instant. I like this because people say, oh, well, it costs six. That's so expensive. Uh, you tell me how you're going to draw cards in green. There's not very many avenues. This is a godsend. Um, Hapatra, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a rare, so that's cool. Anytime that you could deal a little minus one, minus one on anything, then it can create you a uh, snake with death touch, which is good. I mean, it keeps blockers aplenty, because any of them are... Yeah, that's a good card. I, I just I think I like to shit on that card. I don't know why. This card's amazing, because uh, lifelink in black reliably, for one creature, but still. There's some uh, goblin lottery right there. If you discard a card, you can draw one. Good shit. Now the eight packs. Getting so excited. Alright, so I'm gonna just open one at a time. It's suspenseful that way. We're keeping suspense. <sighs> uh, this one's actually pretty good. I like this guy. I mean, he's a 3-1 when you're blocking. Meh. But... For two, he's a 4-4 four, four with lifelink. If you get this guy uh, Vigilance, which is super easy, uh, with other enchantments and stuff that are in this game, you can keep him constantly exerting every turn. It's really disgusting. Or, you know, you do stuff like this, untap. Yeah. Um, his power is equal to incense and sorcerers in your graveyard. That's okay. That's pretty good. And then this uh, is not indestructibility. It's a step above that. For only one black, target creature gets plus two plus O. Oh, and if it does die, return to the battlefield tapped. Which is far and wide better than indestructibility. Because it still allows the creature to be killed. For enter the battlefield effects. For, oh, uh, well, basically just enter the battlefield effects. But still, it, yeah. I like that. Keep on trucking. Let's see what else we can find. All right. Ooh, okay. Awesome. I got another commit to memory. Commit to memory is great because not only do you play commit, which throws uh, an opponent's card underneath the top one, burying it forever as far as magic is concerned. This card is gone forever. Um, but then you click memory, or you cast memory from the graveyard. The turn after, it doesn't require you having 10 mana. It just requires you having f 5 and 1 in the chamber. So at the turn afterwards, you say each player shovels his or her hand and graveyard into his or her library, then draws 7 cards. The odds of him drawing that card from the 7... It, okay, so Ulamog ends up second from top. Now, he in two turns, he draws Ulamog. He has a turn. Now in one more turn, he draws Ulamog. Now it's back to you. You make him shuffle his whole graveyard and his hand into his library. Ulamog is now to, scattered to the winds, and he gets to draw seven cards. The odds of him finding Ulamog in those seven or just on the top is so rare now. It, it statistically has some sort of odds, but still, though, I like that card a lot. I, I want more... There we go. This. Oh. This is exactly what I want. Not only does it discard a card, but it throws a one, one, minus one, minus one on something for a cost. That's incredible. Okay. 
That's exactly what I was just going to say. After that Vizier chick, I want something that you pay an amount and put one, one, minus one, minus ones on stuff. Uh, because I don't know very much of that. I like this cat. I like when the cat dies, and he's just wrapped up version of that cat. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield under your control, you can tap an artifact or creature. That's pretty good. Target player discards two cards. Ooh, mouth to feed. So, mouth, you make a, t make a hippo. Feed, you draw a card based on all your creatures that have three or greater power. Um, draw in green. Draw in green is starting to make its appearance in, in viable ways. I enjoy that. Uh, some zombie pump. Nice little tribal guy. And all zombies gain menace. He's very powerful. And now I have one at least. So that's cool. That thing on the on the pack doesn't it's not anything. It pisses me off. Okay, so dust to dawn. Uh kill all power to three or greaters, and then return all power two or lesses. This is also very good. And white weenies, which is I'm gonna do a white weenie deck, and it's actually invulnerable to everything. It's a white weenie deck that keeps your creatures indestructible almost permanently. There's a small window where they can actually fight back and the window is so tiny that uh, it takes an instant speed deal three damage to everything kind of situation. Or something that says destroy all creatures that can't be regenerated. A Wrath of God type deal which I'm not sure is in this game. Mm. Destined to lead, another great one. Uh, one creature gets 1-0 and indestructible till end of turn. And then you say, uh, all creatures have to block that, if they're allowed to block anything. Um, very few cards can find its way around this. There's a spider that can block eight creatures. I don't think it's in this game. Uh, there's a white little human that can block two creatures. That is in this game. Nice Minotaur Archer. This is minus one, minus one guy. Counter target creature spell. Essence Scatter. Hmm. Alright. We want some good stuff. Oh, a legendary Minotaur. As long as you have one or fewer cards in hand, Minotaurs get 2-0. Uh, minotaurs also get first strike, so a bunch of first strike and large powered minotaurs is pretty good. Uh, whenever Nahib worthy the worthy deals combat damage to a player, each player dis each player discards a card. Okay, so madness, minotaur madness is minotaur madness a thing? Because it sounds like a crazy sale. This week only minotaur madness. Um. Eh, decent pack. Not, not great. Still looking for... I got my little shopping list, and I have yet to meet any of them. Oh, start to finish. This card's actually not super great, but it is brutal. So start, they're like, yeah, yeah, we're buddies. We're starting this thing. It's gonna be great. And then finishes, I killed you. You died to my hand. Like, that's, uh, yeah, super brutal. Uh, stack a creature, kill a creature. And then create two creatures. Vigilance. They're one one whites. Uh, that that they're pretty good. That's that's a decent card all the way around. Uh, Naga Oracle. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them in your graveyard, and the rest of the back on the top in any order. It's pretty good. It's nice for fishing for an answer. Oh no, two more, and I have yet to get what I want. Oh no, one more, and I have yet to get what I want. So, this is a legendary creature, and that's why I have the problem with this guy. Because at the beginning of combat on your turn, target creature token gains 1-1 one, one until end of turn and can't be blocked. So, you put this on a 4-2 beast, make it a 5-3 unblockable. You put this on a... What's the largest creature token you can make in this game? Uh, embalm that Hydra for a 6-6 six, six trampler, now is a 7-7 seven, seven trampler that can't be blocked. Is that good? What's the point of having Trample if you can't be blocked anyways? I, I don't know a big creature that has Embalm. Like, Embalm is... I mean, I don't 
I don't care for Temeth because whatever card he's supposed to go with didn't make it in duels, I think. The largest creature tokens you can make are 5-5 five, five elemental red greens, I think. Oh, okay. Draw X cards, then discard a card. That one's pretty good. Uh, reduce to rubble. Counter target spell, let's control place three. That's very common. And then up to three target lands. Don't untap during their controller's next untap step. Giving icing over lands in red. It's so weird. It's so cool. Uh, somebody tries to play something intricate. Uh, multiple colored planeswalker garbage that you see very often. Um, that'll, that'll hurt. Also fling. Fling got a reprint. So there's fling. But, yeah, sadly, uh, I didn't get the cards I was after. I don't know, there's just ugh, so many good cards in this set. The set is just... If you start on Emiket and you never touched anything else before, you've never even played Magic before this point, not only are the rules so far and wide different, having to keep in mind different triggers and stuff like that, or, well, even though the game rules state this, this card tells me otherwise. My Gideon emblem tells me otherwise. Uh, you know, things that say, well, typically there's one combat phase, but in this set, there's multiple. Typically, you know, like, uh, when something goes to the graveyard, it's dead. <laughs> but in this set, tells me otherwise. The amount of bringing creatures from your hand to the battlefield, from the graveyard to the battlefield, like, there's just so much stuff that changes rules that if you start on Amon Ket, you will get such a deep understanding of how magic is played, and you'll have a good time doing it because everything is so overpowered that if you start your collection here, um, then you will have such a good foundation for any deck idea. Not only during the standard window, but even after that into modern, um, and then after that into legacy. I think that uh, this is a great set to just do your do your business on. It's uh, yes to shit on. That's not what I meant at all. But no, it's uh. I'm gonna keep on grinding through packs. Watch me on Twitch. I, I do that uh, semi often. I need to start doing Twitch a lot more. And uh, in the near months, we're in May 2017 right now, just in case. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos of this. Uh, come watch, enjoy what you see. Maybe donate. Help me get packs a little quicker. But uh, yeah, I want to breeze through this. Start doing more videos, um, magic related. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, this is Mike Von Awesome signing out.